I'd like to thank everybody who's here for Straight to the Streets. Uh, if you're if you're here as a volunteer, please make sure you get your get yourself a bag of clothing. If you're here with the team, we're looking for teams uh, four or five. We're looking for ten groups. We have routes and maps. If you've got your bags of clothing and you have your team, come see me. I'll give you a route map and we'll start getting out there. Okay? Thank you. If you're here and you're looking for clothes and, and feel free to look through the things, please be respectful. Try not to make too much of a mess. We're going to be cleaning this all up what before we leave here, okay? Beforehand. Every year I think, oh my God, I hope this, I hope this goes well. I hope this works out. Uh, I hope people show up. I, I hope, hope nobody shuts our place down. That's right. I hope nobody shuts the places down. I hope the people who need the stuff get the help they need. I hope we can reach people. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. And do you, what part of the city are you going to this year? We have 10 route maps. We're going to be branching out from this location, heading uh, east, uh, northeast, as far as uh, Cabbage Town, Regent Park, we have uh, three new routes uh, even further east of the DVP this year, going down Girard and Dundas as far as Pape. So, Tony, this is your sixth year doing yes. Page in the Street. Why did you start it? Uh, basically, I started it because uh, I got clean and sober and realized that I'd been uh, doing a lot of shitty things with my life and it was time to do something good. And what do you get from the project every year? Uh, you know what, I mean, every year it's a, it is a sense of excitement, there's a sense of anxiety, uh, but ultimately at the end of the day, when, when we get all these strangers together and they're all trying to do something good in the world, I, I mean, it's, it's nothing but joy for me because I feel like, uh, like we're trying, we're trying to make a difference. Now, do you have any sponsorships or any corporations helping you? No corporations are helping me, but uh, we have a sponsorship with another uh, grassroots in initiative, uh, Project Humanity, who I've been working closely with for on and off five years as well with, with their annual uh, events in the spring. So between Project Humanity and, and, and Open Minds Respect events, we're just doing it ourselves, trying to make it happen. Thank you very much. Uh, you've been in voluntary for a couple of years. Yeah. What do you get from Street Um. I guess, I mean, the, the, the interaction uh, that you get while going out and handing out clothes is, is sort of something unparalleled. It's not something that you, you get to do on your day-to-day -day basis. Um, but I would say this year, more than ever, um, what I'm really loving is being able to reach out beyond the network of people who have already done this. Uh, it's really exciting sort of getting involved um, from an organizational standpoint and being able to draw other people in. Thank you. And you're with Project Humanity. What does Project Humanity do? So Project Humanity is an organization that uses art as a way to raise awareness, uh, and our focus is on uh, youth homelessness. Uh, we've worked with Tommy many times in the past, and so it was a bit of a no-brainer to, uh, to get on board with Mr. Distance. Thank you very much. Makes it exciting. This is your first year. I know. So Andrew, what are you expecting from the program today? Uh, the unexpected. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no. I have no expectations. I don't know if um, uh, we're going to encounter uh, any people on the routes. It's a really friendly. Uh, the climate is really friendly today. So um, who knows if in this warmth we'll encounter um, lots of people. But hopefully we do, and hopefully we get the right things to the right people. On an everyday basis, do you engage with the homeless? Do you talk to the homeless? Uh, I do actually. Uh, I think that. Um, uh, acknowledgement is the least we can do and I think that uh, uh, if somebody is asking you for change the least you can do is um, is look them in the eye acknowledge them and uh, uh, I don't tend to give I, I like to volunteer my time and um, engage with the, the homeless community usually the homeless youth community and a uh, uh, a bit more hands-on way, but I absolutely think um, that people need to feel seen and heard. Thank you very much. Well, Yeah. We'll try to meet up and maybe grab a bite. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Great. Thank you. Great. Thanks for really coming appreciate out. It. Thank you. See you again? Yes, definitely. Hey. Great. Hi. So, yeah, so. This is our team lead. Okay, terrific. Uh, so you guys have uh, a few people ready to go? Yeah, we got room for one more if they want to join us. Okay. So ready. Um, hey, Pat. This guy. Because of your experience, could I put you with, uh, with another team? I was just going to ask you if you'd like to. Well, uh, 
because uh, Tom, he is my brother, so uh, I want to try it out. This, this is good, yeah? So, yeah. Good. So, have you been down in this part of the city before? Yes, I have. A, a long time ago. So, are you, <clears throat> do you have any concerns about the walk or anything? Mm, not really. How many of you guys have been involved in this before? This is our first this year, actually. This is our first year. It's our first yeah. year in Toronto, so... Oh, you, where are you guys from? Vancouver. So, do you, anything like this go on in Vancouver? No. Well, yes, I'm sure, I, I'm sure it does. Yes. There's, there's, quite a, there's quite a large uh, yeah. population in Vancouver yeah. as well, and it's not as much cold, it's more wet, so it's different. I think you're trying to provide people with, you know, waterproof and, and shelters as opposed to just a straight one. Yeah, so I, but we've never been a part of this in Vancouver. No, yeah, so, so it's the first time. Really yeah, excited it's about great. it. Yeah, great. We're excited. And do you talk to homeless people on the street normally? Uh, try to help as much, but not necessarily striking up conversations all the time, so this will be interesting. Yeah, it'll be great. We're looking forward to it. Go ahead. <laughs> so she might not be good right now. Cool. Well, which way are you guys going? Uh, yeah, really right. nice. On here, give us a call. It'll depend on who's left, where they are, and, and we'll find a best location. It's hum humanity improv. <laughs> okay, so you, I'm gonna give this to you, truly. Okay, right. but wait for a team leader. You've Sounds got good. a group of four here. All right. We need one more person. There's two copies of the map, two copies of the list. Here's your recommended points. Your your, your map is highlighted with a route with your stop off points. Uh, Contact information is here at the end of the day, or if you have any trouble. is to go out there and if you find somebody who looks like they need warmth, we're offering warmth, okay? That's what we're, we're not, we're not fixing anything, we're not fixing anybody, we're not pitying people. What we're doing is we have clothing and we're trying to give it away, okay? If people need warmth, hopefully they'll understand that, okay? If they don't want your help, keep moving, you know, say, God bless, we did the best. Or whatever, que sera, sera. Que sera.